Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about the research that you discussed. So, in, in, for example, in one of your articles, you mentioned uh, Gustavo Manso yeah. and many others, right? So what kind of guidance can we have uh, to design enough incentives uh, to motivate employees to engage in innovation projects? Yeah, you know, I, I was actually surprised that, that Gustavo Monser, he was back at, at MIT, he's now at Berkeley, I guess. Uh, he actually, he wrote an article um, incentivizing innovation, something like that, back in 2011. And he, it, it's very simple concept. He believed that people involved in innovation activity should have protection from failures short term and incentives long term. So this uh, short term protection actually lets them experiment without feeling and experience negative consequences for their failure. But uh, long term incentives uh, allow them to take and build the projects with, with high return, but, but which take long time. Again, being motivated all the long uh, until the, the completion of this project. And um, again, uh, obviously, every company has their own uh, their own um, ways to incentivize employees. But again, uh, in my view, long long uh, term uh, stock options with with uh, uh, with long maturities, perhaps. Uh, the best way for companies, for public companies, to provide this long-term thing.